this video tutorial I will explain how to call the store procedure using a simple JDBC call. Here you can see the store procedure. Store procedure name is read underscore employee. Here I have defined input parameters and output parameters. What this store procedure will do is based on the input parameter employee ID, it will get name, age, and salary values from employee table, and those values will be assigned to these output parameters. We will see how to create this store procedure and how to call this store procedure using a simple JDBC call. Here you can see employee table, it contains three records. This is the store procedure. I am going to execute this. Here you can see store procedure is created. We will see how to call this store procedure. Here you can see set data source method. Spring container creates a data source object and pass it to this method. That data source object will be set to symbol JDBC call object. And symbol JDBC call object is going to use the store procedure read underscore employee. Here you can see get employee method which accept employee ID. Here I have created SQL parameter source object and here you can see the store procedure input parameter I am assigning the employee ID value and then I am calling execute method of simple JDBC call object and passing the SQL parameter source object. This method execute this store procedure based on the input parameter value and it returns the map. The map contains output parameters and the corresponding value. And here I am getting each output parameter values and assigning to the properties of employee object. Here I have defined the class employee. It has four properties employee ID, name, age, and salary. Here I have defined the interface employee DAO. It has one abstract method. Method is get employee, which accepts employee ID. Here I have defined the class employee DAO impl which implements employee DAO interface and provide implementation of get employee method. This is a spring configuration XML. Spring container read this XML and it creates a data source object. To create data source object, spring container needs to know driver class name, URL of the database, username and password of the database. Once a data source object is created, it is injected to employee DAO impl. Here I have defined the class app. Here I have created application context object by reading a spring configuration file using a getbean method of application context object getting employee DAO object from a spring container then I am calling get employee method of employee DAO object. Then I am passing employee ID as 3. This method returns employee object that I am printing here.
here you can see the third row name is uh, David, age is 45 and uh, salary is uh, 20,000. And uh, we got the same information here. You can get uh, Java source code link for uh, each video in the description section of the video. Here you can see the description section. Click on uh, show more. And uh, here you can see the Java source code links. Click on uh, these links to get the Java source code.